Hi everyone, I'm Johnny Tweer Singha, a PhD student at the New York University, and I did this work with my advisor Rachel Greenstadt. I will be presenting the approach we took to solve the PAN 2020 authorship verification task. We used feature vector difference based approach with neural network and logistic regression classifiers. First, let's take a brief look at the shared task. The idea was given two documents, and in this case, two fan fictions, to predict if they were written by the same person. We were given two datasets, a small one and a larger dataset, and each contained the document pair and also the fandom that each fan fiction belonged to. But in our particular approach, we did not use the fandom parameter. For training, we were given the ground truth, which includes the author identifier and the label indicating if the two documents were written by the same person. Um, and looking at the documents, um, they were around 4,800 tokens, which means they were fairly large documents. And as with any authorship attribution or verification tasks, the more words we have, the better. And now let's take a look at our approach. Um, given the two documents, the first thing we do is to extract stylometry related features and form two feature vectors. And in the next couple of slides, I will explain what exact features we used. Now with these two feature vectors, the next step is to take the absolute difference between these two vectors and feed it to a machine learning classifier. The reasoning behind this approach is that we hope the machine learning model would be able to learn which stylometric features should have similar values between the two documents if they were written by the same author. Now, during the training phase, we feed the classifier with the ground truth, and during the prediction stage, it outputs a probability value. These are the features that we used, and these are fairly common in most authorship attribution systems. We computed the TF-IDF values for character n-grams, special characters, and we computed the frequency of function words, the number of characters and words in the document, the average number of characters per word, the distribution of word length, and vocabulary richness features. Here, the Hapax Legomenon uh, means the number of words that appear only once in the document, and the die legomenon means the number of words that appear twice in the document. We also wanted to look at uh, syntactic related features. So for this, we did part of speech tagging on the document. And in the left here, I have an example sentence with the part of speech tags. We also grouped the part of speech tags to form noun phrases and verb phrases. For this, we used a regular expression-based approach. While there are machine learning-based approaches to do this, we opted to use the simpler regular expression-based approach due to performance considerations. Now, as features, we included the TF-IDF values of the part-of-speech trigrams and the trigrams of part-of-speech tag chunks. We also encoded how each noun phrase and verb phrase was, were constructed as features. As for classifiers, we used two classifiers, a logistic regression classifier for the smaller data set, because we were able to do all the processing uh, for the full data set in memory. And for the larger data set, we used a neural network with a single hidden layer. Uh, for this, we divided the data set into three sets, the training, validation, and test sets. We used the train set to do the training and the validation set to do parameter tuning and model selection. And these are the results that our models received when they were submitted to the PAN evaluation system, where it was tested on a previously unseen test set. Our models achieved the second best performance on both the small and large datasets. Um, the neural network model got an AUC of 0.95, and the logistic regression model, which was trained on the smaller dataset, got an AUC of 0.93.
And as for future work, we want to look at, we want to perform a feature analysis to see what features were important in making these predictions. And we also want to do a misclassification analysis to figure out where our model fails. We also want to optimize our model for the C at one performance measure. This is a measure that rewards systems that avoid making predictions on difficult instances. We also want to test this system on unseen authors. Now in this particular case, the test set included authors that were only seen in the train set. Um, but in our preliminary experiments on other data sets, uh, we were able to see that our approach worked quite well on previously unseen authors or an open world scenario. We also want to apply this approach to social media and online web pro forums. Now, one of the challenges there is that the document size in those domains are very small compared to the fan fiction documents that we had here. So we want to test this approach on more smaller documents. And with that, I would like to end my presentation. But before that, I want to leave you with one of my favorite fan fictions from um, this task, because this particular fan fiction uh, made my regular expression based part of speech tag chunker hang an error out with a with a stack overflow flow exception. And you will see why when you see it. Um, here it is. And with that, I would like to end the presentation. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, the source code and the models are also available on GitHub. I would like to thank the PAN 2020 organizers and the reviewers, and we were funded by the US National Science Foundation. Thank you.